Good morning, and welcome to Bad Bat Hikes. Today is day 67. Today is going to be very exciting. After the roller coaster of the day I had yesterday, I'm glad that there's some milestones in the terrain for me to look forward to. So, thing number one, I think I'm gonna hit this first, is we're gonna hit 700 miles, which is insane. That's such a big chunk, and it's also like, we have so much further to go. <laughs> but 700's a big number. I walked 700 miles. I didn't walk, I hiked up and down mountains. That's very, very different. <sighs> okay, so that's thing number one. Thing number two is Dragon's Tooth. It's the first thing in what's called the Virginia Triple Crown, which is Dragon's Tooth, McAfee Knob, and Tinker Cliffs. It's just three like really cool, very notable um, sites in Virginia. Dragon's Tooth, you'll see it when I get there, it's just this massive rock that's shaped like a tooth and people climb to the top. We'll see how windy it is. <laughs> it's very, very treacherous to get up there. I definitely will take my pack off if I attempt it, but it's a big old, big old tooth-like rock that you can climb on. And then the third thing, we're going to pass a road crossing that's near a grocery store. Well, it's like a gas station grocery store situation. Am I going the right way? Oh, nope. I was going southbound. Oh, gosh. This way. This way. Up the mountain first. <laughs> Yay. You guys know the rules. When you see a bench, you have to take a break. That's the rule. <sighs> <sighs> Thank you whoever put this bench at the top of this big climb. It is much appreciated. So, it's like an hour in. I'm already like down to my shorts and my sun hoodie. Oh, weather is weird, man. Weather is weird, but I'm very grateful of all the good weather I've been having. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice too. So a good day on McAfee Knob tomorrow and a good day on Dragon's Tooth today. So let's enjoy this bench and take a break. There's some sort of monument up here. Let's go see what it is. So this is for Audie Murphy. He died near here in a plane crash, but he was the most decorated veteran of World War II. Huh. Wow. Oh my word. I'm pretty sure that's fresh ground at the bottom of this hill. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I had no idea he was going to be here. And this is really going to liven up my day. Hello! It's so good to see you! Well, you constantly Are you putting us on camera? Yeah! Hey, uh, Say hi to the internet. <laughs> we got uh, blueberry pancakes, we got potatoes, deep fried, we got deep fried bacon. I'm so in. Door. Round one, blueberry pancakes. So <laughs> round solid. two, potatoes, bacon. Got French. Thanks, Fresh Ground. <laughs> See you later. I'm very thankful for Fresh Ground. I was telling him about my rough day yesterday. He was very encouraging. And Virginia Blues are no joke, people. You get a good chunk in. Mine starts playing tricks on you. Mental game for sure. Like, okay, so here's the saying. The first third is like physical. And like you <laughs> whip your body into shape to hiking up and down mountains for 15 miles a day. And then the second third is supposed to be mental. Like staying uh, like in it and keeping your mind in a good place. And the last third is supposed to be spiritual. You're supposed to have like all kinds of like awakenings and like just you're toward the end and you figure out life's questions. I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet. But I am definitely in the second third. I'm trying to keep my head screwed on straight because I want to do this. I have a goal. I'm going to finish. It's going to happen. But 
at like three o'clock after walking all day, you're just like, why am I out here? But gotta, gotta keep that attitude, right? And he was talking to me all about that and keeping my battery full and he keeps my belly full. Man, I am so incredibly lucky. Most people don't even get to meet Fresh Ground because he stays far ahead of the bubble so he can keep up, essentially. He can't feed 60 people a day by himself. That's just not feasible and that's what the bubble's like. So I'm very, 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 very lucky to have gotten him once, let alone a dozen times. Oh, and he was there. I knew he was there yesterday and I thought I was gonna miss him this time, but he stayed and I got breakfast. It was more like lunch for me. And I've got blueberry pancakes and bacon and a Gatorade sitting in my pack right now for me to have as a second lunch. Or maybe dinner, I might have breakfast for dinner. Eh, it won't make it that far. I'll definitely eat it before dinner time. Okay. So I have another Guess the Song by The Dance. This one everyone should know. Everyone should know. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but everyone should know this. So let me put you down so I can show you. dancing so much and oh my gosh auditions for my local community theater are gonna come up here in like a month and oh I'm gonna miss doing a show this summer so 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 much so Natalia when I get back just teach me anything I miss dancing it's so pretty oh goodbye we've been all over the place today but we're almost at 700. I'm on the lookout for rocks or sticks or something. And if there aren't any, I'm going to make one. There it is. 700. Woo -hoo! Oh, yeah. It was very exciting. 700 miles. These feet have walked, hiked up and down mountains. 700 miles. I'm proud of me. I am 0.5 away from Dragon's Tooth. Ooh, this climbing ain't no joke, y'all. It has been just straight up and down, up and down, up and down. Rocks, boulders, you can see them. This is really gradual compared to what I've been doing, but it's basically just been rocks, rocks, rocks. Climb, 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 I had to like, hand over hand for a few of them which is fun but I checked my thermometer it is 82 degrees <laughs> when I was leaving like packed up ready to go leaving this morning my thermometer said 30 like that that's 52 degrees that it has gone up <laughs> in the past like I don't know seven hours eight hours or so that's wild. Ooh, butterfly. Oh, dearie. All right. So it should be a dragon's tooth very, very soon. And I knew that I wasn't going to have water for a really long time. But like I said, it's 82 degrees. So I drank a lot of it on the way up here. So now I'm like rationing the last little bit I have to get me off the mountain. Ah, okay. Honestly, I think that might be it, but I've also been thinking that for the past, like, three miles. Ew. I'll see you when I get there.
All right, got my pack back and we're back on track. <laughs> I'm kind of sad about Dragon's Tooth. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna climb it. And then I was like, nope, not gonna climb it. Cause I really need new shoes. I'm gonna get new shoes in Daleville, which is a couple days away. I was like, I'm not climbing a very dangerous rock in shoes with less than ideal tread. <laughs> but the view is really nice though. All right, down, next up, grocery store. Oh my God, there's so many bugs, but I have to show you, that is what I just came down. This is insane. Okay, I have to keep moving or the bugs will swarm. Oh they're, God, they're everywhere. This is what we're working with here. Um, and then a new friend, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Silva. Hi. I'm uh, doing a lash, I think. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. Yeah. And she also makes videos, but we're we're struggling down Dragon's Tooth. Yeah. Like, look at that. Like, we slid on our butts, and I had to do that several times on all the rocks coming down Dragon's Tooth. So let me retrieve my trekking poles, which I definitely just threw down that, <laughs> and then we continue on to the road and I have decided I'm definitely going to Four Pines Hostel because today has been super fun. <laughs> it has been nice. I'm super glad that it was sunny. I was telling her I was like I cannot imagine doing that in the rain like it was scary enough in the sunshine. So let's get to the road so we can get to the convenience store and get food. Oh love food. This is the trail right now. Nice view, but this is the trail right now. <laughs> also, I have my bug net on because the bugs are swarming. But this is absolutely insane. Made it to the road. Now to get to the grocery store to get food and then to the hostel. I'd like to point out that from Dragon's Tooth to this road was 2.2 miles and it took me two hours to do it. That's how hard those rocks were. It was awful. Also, I can feel the salt on my face. Super great. I'm super glad. I decided to go to a hostel tonight. So now that Sylvia's here, we're gonna either walk or get a ride or hitch or something to get to the grocery store. Road walking to the grocery store. All I want is a Dr. Pepper and a cheeseburger. If they have both of those things, I'm gonna be so, so happy. Made it to the grocery store. Is this a convenience store attached to a gas station? But I don't care. I'm still gonna say, Let's party. So I'm at Four Pines and I got a giant Dr. Pepper, a cheeseburger, and we're heating up our fries in the oven because they weren't cooked at all. Got a bit of a resupply and this is Four Pines. So bunk area is over there, kind of like hangout area. It is a three bay garage and then bathrooms over there. So my head is pounding and I think it's just cause I'm dehydrated, but I have no service and there's no Wi-Fi. <laughs> So I can't edit or upload or anything. So that's a bummer, but I'll be in Daleville soon anyhow. So all that's left to do is eat and go to bed. So if you want to follow along on my ET journey, make sure to subscribe. I also have an Instagram account, but for now, happy trails.